FC Dallas returns home this weekend for a match against the New York Red Bulls. Can FCD bounce back from a tough loss in D.C.? And can the team withstand the grueling schedule coming up in May? We'll discuss that and more in this week's Keys to the Match, driven by Toyota. FC Dallas is coming off a really tough loss to DC United last weekend. I think this is the first real test of character this team has had to face to see how they bounce back from that adversity against the Red Bulls. Right, and uh, you know they won five out of their first seven games, and I think Saturday's was the first time you could say they really didn't play well in a match. Um, obviously, everyone knows how good FC Dallas has been at home, and it's fantastic for them that they have a game at home to bounce back. And I think for FC Dallas, the key, just put that game out of your mind, take what positives you can, but the best way to silence any of those doubters is to come out against New York and play the game that you want. With New York coming to town, you can't help but mention their star power with designated players like Terry Henry and Tim Cahill, and of course, they've got the Englishman, Bradley Wright Phillips, who scored a hat trick last week. Daniel, what does FCD need to do to silence the Red Bulls' attack? Well, like you said, they really have a lot of weapons, and they're coming into this game hot. They've scored seven goals in their last three games. Of course, they had the 4-0 win over Houston, and Bradley Wright Phillips is one of the hottest forwards in the league right now, and he's, he's that finisher that they haven't really had to pair with Henri. Obviously, he's playing so well, and for FC Dallas, the key, like we say every week, good high pressure up the field so that you don't allow guys like Thierry Henry time to get the ball, turn, and play the passes that he's known for. This is the first match of what's going to be a very challenging month for FC Dallas. The team plays seven games in May, four of those are going to be on the road. Yeah, and it just shows how important it is for them to hold serve at home in a game like this against New York. Like you said, road games after this one at San Jose, uh, Seattle, Los Angeles, and Real Salt Lake, and that's just over the next three weeks. And while FC Dallas is certainly capable of winning in all those venues, Getting these points at home allows them to have that little bit of padding in the standings. Be sure to join us when the Toyota Stadium gates open at noon on Sunday for dollar tacos and four dollar drinks in the El Himidor Cantina. The match kicks off at 2 p.m. and will be nationally televised on Unimas and broadcast in high definition locally on Time Warner Cable Sports Channel 148. For the English radio call, be sure to tune into The Word 100.7 FM with Steve Davis. And for our Spanish listeners, catch the game on 1270 AM La Voz del Pueblo with your host Carlos Alvarado. Well, that does it for us this week. For the keys to the match driven by Toyota, I'm Scott Brown. And I'm Daniel Robertson. We'll see you on Sunday at Toyota Stadium.